Howdy. Today's devotional is from Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I've all heard that a, a number of times. I have a friend named Mike who experienced some significant losses in his life. He and his family went bankrupt. Then one of his daughters was injured terribly by a car wreck by a drunk driver. Uh, Hurricane Ike destroyed his house. And later, cancer claimed his wife and a son-in-law in the same year. Mike acknowledges these events and the pain that caused it's caused him, but he refuses to cling to that pain. He realizes that doing so would only steep him in discouragement. And that's no way to live. It's a, it's a hard way to, to, to look at things. Mike is one of those upbeat type of people that I know. He loves Jesus and radiates it all the time. And his words reflect the depth of his relationship with Jesus. He truly knows what it means to practice living in his presence. When I visited him recently, uh, he told me that his mother had always been an upbeat person too. He said he had learned that from her. That's where he got his upbeat attitude. Every morning when he, uh, his mother woke up, she would say, Good morning, Lord. What a wonderful thing uh, do you have planned for me today? That invited Mike's present and set the tone of his entire day. No matter what happened, he knew that Jesus was sovereign and God was with him. Since my conversation with Mike, I sought to practice the same ritual. I find that it sets my mind and heart in a place of eager anticipation. No matter what the day holds, Jesus holds me. I will rejoice and be glad to be in his presence, his power, and his promises. What's the first thought that enters your mind when you wake up in the morning? If it's anxiety about the day, then retrain your thoughts to focus on Jesus through the simple prayer in today's scriptures verse. Memorize Psalm 118.24. Thank you, Jesus, for all the gifts of today. Have a good day.